Hello, I'm Genevieve Lewis and welcome to Print 7 News, bringing you the latest stories from the last week in the print industry. This week, Fedragoni reveals sustainability and equality plans. 3D printing demand boosts new filament company. The print show postpones to 2022 and Antalis sponsors Student Design Award. First, the Fedragoni Group is celebrating a strong end to 2020 with a turnover of £1.1 billion. The group has also pledged zero industrial waste to landfill as well as an increase in women in managerial positions. Last year, the group acquired the Rich Rama Group and the IP Venus Group in the self-adhesive sector. This contributed to the company's growth turnover for 2020. Next, a 24-year-old entrepreneur from Yorkshire has capitalised on demand for the 3D filament manufacturing industry. Harry Bairstow launched 3D print company Fatera and is expecting to achieve a turnover of more than £100,000 in his first full year in business. Bairstow says increased investment in research and development is driving demand in the 3D printing community. Now, the print show has confirmed that the 2021 event will be delayed until 2022 due to ongoing COVID-19 concerns. The news follows the government's extension of the so-called Freedom Day, which saw social distancing rules extended for a further four weeks. The event had been due to run from September 28th to the 30th at the NEC in Birmingham. Adam Every, sales manager, tells us more. We've made the very difficult decision due to the government delaying the restrictions being lifted and it now being extended until the 19th of July, we've made the difficult decision to actually roll the show till 2022. We've had fantastic support from all of our current exhibitors, which meant that it is now possible to roll the show until the 20th to the 22nd of September next year. We did not want to actually put on a bad show for our exhibitors and our visitors alike. If we don't have the floor plan filled up as we would normally have, then there would be a lack of visitor interest to actually come to the show and visit. And therefore, the current exhibitors that would have been there wouldn't have had a good show at all. So it's been a very strange year for us all, and it doesn't seem like it's going to change very soon, which is why we've made this decision to roll the show until next year. We're currently in the process of updating the website to inform all of the potential visitors what the plans are for next year. The pre-registration button will be removed, so you won't be able to pre-register for your tickets, for obviously for a show that this year isn't going to happen. Next year, it will go live as it normally would throughout the year, and we will obviously be calling everybody on our database to personally invite them to the show and inform them as to what's going on. The diversification zone will be back. There's some great new ideas that we've got for that. We will be having some attraction area. Who will be there and what will be going on? That's just to be announced, and we'll uh, keep everybody informed as to what's going on with that information. We have had a lot of people already interested in pre-registering for tickets this year and we couldn't inform as to what was going on until we'd spoken to all of our exhibitors because they've obviously signed for the show they were the most important people to speak to straight away and we didn't want anybody finding out second hand we spoke to them all personally so we're moving halls next year we'll be in hall 18 and the dates are the 20th of september until the 22nd of september and the dates actually are 2022 2022 which is quite nice the hall is actually the same shape as our current hall which means that the floor plan fits exactly which has made obviously our job so much easier in transferring and rolling from one year to, to the next if you want to obviously find out a little bit more about the show please get in touch uh, we will be able to help you through maybe booking a stand for the 2022 show. We're really disappointed, obviously, to have not put on a show this year. We're all really looking forward to it after being out of the business for over a year. But next year, the show will be back. The show will be as best as we can possibly make it for all of our exhibitors and visitors alike. Hall 18 at the NEC, September 20th to September the 22nd. The dates are nice and easy to remember. It's 2022, 2022. And finally, Antalis has signed up to sponsor a competition showcasing the talent of packaging designers of the future. The contest features works produced by students from Norwich University of the Arts. A panel will pick the best designs on July 15th and the winners will have the opportunity to have their work displayed on the Antalis stand at Packaging Innovations in September. 
That's all for this week's Print 7 News, but for now you can stay up to date with all of the news in the industry at printmonthly.co.uk, view much more video content at print7tv.com, or you can join in with the conversation on Twitter and LinkedIn. We will see you next week. Thank you.